Eric Dimes, DefeatTheBook.com. Let us help you beat the odds. If you're new here, welcome. You've been here before, welcome back. Either way, I thank you for tuning in. Thumbs up, subscribe, click the bell so you're notified every single time we give you any content here on this channel. I want to try to get some things rolling. We got a nice free pick win there for you. Yesterday was a little sketchy at the end with the Kansas City Chiefs laying 10 and a half there at home. They were able to take care of business and boy, it's about time to wave the white flag on Russell Wilson. I think he's about done and it's not looking good for him moving forward. So something to pay attention to um, moving forward in the NFL season. So we were able to get the win there. We got backdoored uh, one of the worst beats uh, so far for me this year with Houston. Um, as we were on the other side of that when Hail Mary Houston covers the game and wins that one out right there against West Virginia. But we did cash um, our other college football game there. So two and one on the day. I want to try to have an even better day here today and get things going. Get the train. Now it's on the track. Let's push it down the hill and continue to build some momentum here. So let's get your free pick game here today and uh, let's get into it. Tulane going up against Memphis, the AAC, a conference I really like to um, pay attention to and watch. Uh, as we see Memphis home dogs here in this one. Undefeated at home now, 4-0 this year. Uh, and I think a lot of this has been put on the emphasis of, of what they've done in the Missouri game. Is they're four and a half point dogs in this one going up against Tulane. And Pratt, Pratt has not looked great um, his last couple games coming off that injury there. They're both of these teams are coming off the bye week. Um, and a revenge spot here for Memphis, who lost by, I believe, seven last year when they played Tulane. Yeah, or 10, I'm sorry, 28 to uh, 38 they went on the road there to play Tulane and they lost that one a seven point dog so this is one I believe that they'll have circled here and the quarterback's good Seth Hannigan has done a very good job he's, he moves just enough very good pocket presence does well under pressure can throw the ball Memphis is really struggling to run the ball um, which is really not that big a deal because Tulane's run defense is really good they have a very stout run defense and I think that they um, are kind of finding their rhythm here you know they played Ole Miss um, and that was really a close game. I was on Ole Miss in that game. I watched it the, the entirety of that game going into the fourth quarter. Tulane had every opportunity to win that game. Obviously, that's a game they played without Michael Pratt. Backup quarterback did a very solid job and turnovers. And it just it started to unravel there with the backup court, quarterback and the turnovers. And then it snowballed. So that game stretched out more, um, I believe, than it actually was. Uh, you know, it was a much tighter game than it showed the last three minutes or so, five minutes or so. It just got really, really out of hand. Um, so that's their only loss of the year. Last two games, as I said, Pratt has not looked good. The bye week, I believe, helped him shore some things up, get more healthy, um, and try to find a rhythm. You know, when you're out for quite some time, it's hard to find your rhythm. I expect to see our best version of him here today. And this is a Memphis defense where I know a lot of folks are talking about their their uh, pass defense and how good their pass defense is. Hey, they don't get a lot of pressure on the quarterback. Tulane does get a lot of pressure on the quarterback. It's going to be a battle with the trenches here. Trenches here um, I believe here in this matchup. Um, but there's some things they can take advantage of. Back-to-back -back games now, they've allowed over 500 yards of total offense with Boise and Missouri being able to take advantage of that. In that Missouri game, it looks like a one-score game, but that really, um, Missouri handled that one almost tape to tape there. Forced some good turnovers. We're able to put some pressure on Hennigan turn him over twice. They had the fumble there. They had two forced fumbles in that game, Missouri did. Um, and they were up by 14 with about three minutes to go. So uh, Memphis comes down and scores late in that game to kind of make it look a little closer than it actually was. But Missouri handled that one almost tape to tape. Um, and I haven't been overly impressed. Besides Hennigan, not a lot to love here. I'm not overly impressed with this Memphis defense as a lot of others are. Um, and I like Tulane in this matchup. I think Pratt gets back on track. He avenges last year. He didn't play well against the Memphis Tigers last year. I believe he only had 150 yards passing um, last season, but they were really a heavy run offense last year as well. But I expect Tulane to take care of business, force some turnovers, Pratt to get moving here and look like the guy that we know from, from prior, uh, and for Tulane to cover this one. And uh, Tulane, lay the four and a half. This is my official free pick of the day. Let me know if you agree, you disagree, whatever the case may be. Tulane, the green wave. Minus the four and a half, my official free pick of the day. Happy Friday. It's Derek Dimes, DefeatTheBook.com. Best of luck if you decide to tail. But either way, hope that you guys have a fantastic Friday. Good luck.